Hello guys, welcome back to Tone Plays NetHack. And last episode we got this very fun Vorpal Blade that we've been going around and decapitating monsters left and right. And we went through the rogue level and now we're, we're down back into the, the mid to deep um, main dungeon. And we're just chugging along. It looks like we've got some kind of golem in this room. Play golem. Statue of a... Oh, that's just a statue. Okay. We'll fight the, this golem real quick. These guys are somewhat tough. Or if you can decapitate them. They just drop some rocks. Okay, yeah. So we're having some encumbrance problems. And I think I'm going to solve that by... Put some ranged weapons away for now, and this gold. Maybe at the end of this floor, we'll try to deal with that by polypiling some stuff. Yep, my searching failed us. <laughs> because it turned this statue trap into an actual jaguar, which I was going to avoid if we could. Doesn't really matter, we'll just kill it. Back on the grip floor, let's loot it. Enchant weapon like that. That away. What bags we have identified? Bricks and holding. So this is either a sack or an oilskin bag. Which are the other two types of bags that exist in the game? I just want to be super sure, so we know bag of tricks and holding already, so I can safely just put that into my other bag, if I decide to use it. You can't put a bag of tricks or a bag of holding into a bag of holding, so that would be very, 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 very bad. Did I emphasize how bad that would be? Very bad. Um, do we want to mess? Yeah, let's go. Here. Um, so yeah, it is a zoo, as we thought. Oh, let's go ahead and two-weapon. And let's fight some stuff. Created a growth behind us. Fight them. The easy stuff first. I'm not going to attack the flaming sphere, because if it blows up, it'll wake up everyone else. I have sleep resistance, right? Yes, I do. We get some elven gear here. It would actually be like this cloak and boots. Actually, be a great time to polypile. So I think we'll definitely do that on this floor. Ogre King. They can actually hit pretty hard. Mechanic. Afraid of that. Oh, come on. You guys should have uh, taken some ranged items out. I didn't check the loot in that the floor there, which I probably should have in case something like this happened. Oh no, the teleport scroll. Again, I knew that was teleport immediately because that is a uh, a closet. You can learn to identify those as you play the game. Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna move and lock this sphere behind me so he doesn't wake up. It's just a wumpus. More like wimpus, am I right? And then I guess we can kill these spheres. I'll worry about the next one later. That's what loot we have here. I want to try on the Leather Helms. I already have a plus two, which will be hard to top. Grab another Elven Dagger for sure. I 
Heck yeah, I keep stocking up on these daggers. Dagger, nice. We're gonna have a lot of daggers. Ooh, those two of the ones I have aren't stacking, so that means one of them has some kind of non-zero enchantment. Yeah, I knew that would burden us. Fine. Another dagger. Cloak. I'm not gonna bother with shields anymore. I think we're gonna stick to two weaponing. Dagger, cloak. Battle axe. And we don't need one of those. Where did that mimic come from? Oh, is that always there? Actually, let me pick up all these other helms too. I might end up using those. Or just trying them on. We should have some carry capacity. Once I do something with all of these items, I want to polypile. Ooh, decent amount of gold in there, too. An extra thousand coin. Oh, wow, we're actually unencumbered. Did not expect that. We put a bunch of weapons and, like, all those daggers and stuff away, so I guess I bought us some decent carry cat. Well, we were done there. This guy open. A lot of big cats in this game. Panthers, Jaguars, for you. Warhorse. I think I'm over taming animals and having pets. We do have a magic whistle, but I don't I just don't feel like dealing with them. Bus trap, walk around that. Pit trap, walk around that. Wow! A lot of traps in that room. I'm just gonna stay clear of that. Uh, the troll wields a hilted pol pole arm. Yeah, see that big chunk of health? The Vorpal Blade beheads the troll. I wonder if he'll come back. Let's find out. Carrying way too many food rations. Still burdened. Troll is back. Drop our bag of holding. Eat the troll. Cool. I don't know if there's a room off to the side. I guess it might be big enough for one of those tiny rooms. Yeah. Fountain, not gonna use it. Freezing sphere. We had fire, ice, and lightning spheres all on this floor. How's that for variety? Check downstairs real quick. Oh, I shouldn't be burdened, but I want a good room. That was a weird crash. They're right here. Let's go polypile. I think it's time. I'm burdened and I can't do it well. I could drop what? One of my 11 food rations, 16 food rations, 6 sea rations. This food's really weighing us down. So is all this armor and stuff. We don't need all these elven cloaks and all that. So let's just go ahead and polypile to reduce our weight. So how do I want to do that? Put our gold away. Take everything out that I might want to polypile. A lot of amulets, but I'm gonna, those are going to be very low priority for us. I don't know when we're going to get rid of our amulet reflection. I guess unchanging. Nah, not really useful. I'm not going to do any weird poly self stuff. We have um, magic resistance for our scale mail, so unchanging isn't that useful. Um, life saving is handy. But we have reflection, so I'm not going to wear life saving over reflection. 
So, I don't know. Probably not going to use Silver Dragon Scale Mail, so I'm pro probably never going to ditch Dame the Reflection. In all practicality, I'm probably never going to use any of these amulets or another amulet for the rest of the game. Uh, but just in case, I'll hold on to these and I'll even polypile them if it seems optimal for us. But the main thing we want, um, make sure we save one pair of Elven Boots for Stealth, which I'm actually wearing, so that's all I have to worry about. So I have these Elven Boots. I have these cloaks. The apron. I don't remember if aprons are magical or not. I don't think they are. I'll check that later. I already have poison resistance, so there's very, very little utility to the apron, but maybe later I'll want acid resistance. That's so droppable, but I'll hold on to it until it becomes a, a major encumbrance issue, I guess. Um, there's value to polypiling scrolls and potions, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, rings. We can polypile the string of polymorph. Ring. Whoops. What did I do? This ring. Of, this extra ring of protection from shape changers. I will hold on to the other one just in case. Whenever you're polypiling, there's benefit to identifying your items beforehand. Like if I knew what these other rings are. Or any some of these wands and stuff, maybe I'd want to polypile them. But you're also going to get new items that you don't know what they are, so there's also benefit to polypiling after. So you kind of have to weigh that. Um, I'm just trying to clear some inventory space. I'm probably going to identify before or after. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but it's something to keep in mind. It was kind of an interesting question. Um, and then all these magic tools the figuring of the ghoul. Um, I'm just going to do one magic whistle. In case we get another pet we want to use. Um, and then I'll do this unicorn horn that we just got, but not the curse one in case we want to confuse ourselves with it again. It's actually pretty valuable for that. Cool, we got everything out. Start dropping things. I'm going to try and differentiate the piles a bit, even though it's hard to do when everything's almost the same thing. How many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can do this in three piles of three and two, essentially. We're guaranteed to hit all of those with the the beam of our poly wand. Oh wait, I have a little bit more than that. I also have a magic whistle and a ghoul. So let me drop one of those here. I'll drop the, the ghoul thing here. That's everything. And let's give her a zap. You feel shuddering vibrations. So that's what's reducing your inventory weight right now. So the magic tools turned into mundane tools. Oil lamps actually, actually lighting tools in general are useful. I'll take both of those. Um, an ornamental cope. I wonder what that could be. It is a magic cloak. I'm just wearing a leather cloak right now. That could actually be nice. Um, another bag of holding. Some boots. Ooh, I th this is a good, good attempt. The conversion rate for magic armor to other magic armor is pretty low. Usually you end up with a bunch of mundane crap you don't want. So to get two magic pieces of armor here is pretty um, lucky, even though we don't even know what they are yet. I don't remember if these... Bags can have anything in them. That one doesn't. Another pair of boots. Uh, they're mud boots again. Wow. Look at that retention and gauntlets of decks. 
Almost every magic piece of armor we dropped turned into more magic armor. Actually, they all did, except for the ones that shuddered? That's amazing. That's really uncommon. Well, let's go ahead. I have... We don't know if these are... With the beatitude of these are, plus curse, uncursed. Um, it's, it's retained when you polymorph, even if you lose the description of them. But we didn't even know what it was beforehand. Um, but I have lots of holy water. I just take out a few extra ones. So I can uncurse these things if I don't like what they are. So let's try this stuff on. Try the cloak on first. Plus one cloak of displacement. That is better than our leather cloak. Well, I think it actually gives the same AC as our leather cloak. Because displacement, does it? No, it is better. For some reason I thought Leather Cloak might give more AC. But Displacement actually does nothing when you're invisible. Because even though you're displaced, the monsters can't see it anyways. But I'll hold on to that. Just for the extra AC. Every little bit counts, even if we're already at minus 14, minus 15. I could roll the dice again and try polymorphing it, but it's pretty slim that we'll get something more useful. Uh, let's try the boots on too. Speed boots. You finish your dressing uh, dressing maneuver. You feel yourself speed up a bit more. Okay, so that is huge. The speed boots give you. It's the only way you can get um, extrinsic speed or very fast speed, um, which is an extra level higher than intrinsic speed that we had already. Um, and I mean that. It lets you run more, it, it raises your DPS if you're just going to be hacking and slashing at things. More turns are very valuable, so that's huge. That's like a, a first wish for a lot of people. Um, I don't usually wish for them. I think speed boots and jumping boots are both pretty valuable. Um, depends on what point of the game you're at and what you're playing and stuff. There's a lot of pros and cons to them. Uh, speed boots are probably better for most of the mid to late game at the very least. A lot of times when I'm playing, I'll wait till I find one or the other and just roll with it um, instead of using a wish on either of them because you're bound to find one eventually. Um, but to get one here, oh, this is awesome. So that was very successful. I don't think we even lost enough items <laughs> like we were counting on. Um, but hey, I will take this. Uh, let me kill this forest centaur that snuck up on us. I think I found that door was searching after locking the other one. Gems I should, probably shouldn't be carrying around. I think some weird refreshes here. Are you guys noticing that too? Arrow, I don't want that. Empty bag of holding? I... Hmm... I think I'd rather polymorph again than carry this around in my inventory and potentially accidentally. Wait, where's my other bag of holding? And potentially accidentally put it in my my good bag of holding <laughs> and lose everything. If that happened, I borderline just want to quit this series. And none of you guys probably want that, so let's not do that. So I'll probably do another blast of polypiling just because I want to do that. It'd be more efficient if I identified like this ring, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I will move something from this pile over to this one. And do I, do I just want to throw this cloak of displacement back in? I think I will. I'm feeling lucky, guys. Feeling lucky. We're going to end up with, like, scale mail or something bad, but... Whatever. Anything else in this bag we want to throw in? This is really the only reason we're... Carrying these amulets, but I'm 
One part of me is feeling lazy. The other part just doesn't want to reduce the chances of things um, shuddering there when we have all these magic items. So let's just go ahead and give it a zap. Yep, chain mail. What did I, is that what I said? No, I think I said scale mail. Um, ooh, other gloves are either fumble or strength. Balance of strength would probably be nice for us. Take this stuff. Try the old gloves on. Balance of power. So that's going to increase our damage by a few points. It's not going to increase our two hit as much as Gauntlets of Dex could. Um, but we're not as concerned about two hit at this point. So I'm actually going to use these. It sucks that we've invested Enchant Armor Scrolls into our Gauntlets of Dexterity. We needed that two hit earlier. But I think... Hmm... I think the Gauntlets of Power are better for combat. They're gonna they're iron, so they're gonna impact our spell casting. It's gonna be bad for us later. But we'll see how much it affects us. Um Yeah, look at that. I take those off. A lot better. I'm actually gonna stick with the Gauntlets of Dex just for the AC right now. Oops. Another lantern. Don't know if we helped ourselves or not. <laughs> Let's see how that worked as far as trying to unencumber ourselves. We picked up a lot of heavy lamps. Yeah, at least one of those used to be a whistle. Which is lighter than a lamp. Yeah, that didn't help us at all. Oh, you know what? Let's actually stick with the Gauntlets of uh, Power. Because they will increase our carry cap. I guess we could probably pile more, but... This, these Gauntlets of Power, let's see how this affects everything. It'll definitely buy us some turns. Or time, I guess, not turns in particular. See, we can carry that now. Because we are strong. Not enough to matter in the long run, but enough to matter for now. Let's continue on. Wrap door, I'll stay away from that. Peek our head down. I'm going to pre prime our blindness. There's a shop over there, we know because there's a mimic. Well, I guess it's not necessarily a shop, but it very, very, very likely is. Well, you know how we can tell for sure. Telepathy. We got Chuane. Probably a shopkeeper's name. I don't know the full list. That'll be great. We can do some price IDing. Um, and maybe they'll have some cool items for us. Actually, there are two green gems. I'm tired of picking up gems. I don't think we're really going to need them anymore. Apparently, I turned off auto pickup. I'm throwing all these potions and scrolls straight into my bag in case I run into anything that could destroy them. Chest. Traps. The default if you find a trap is to attempt to disarm it. Which when I'm checking like this fast, I have a, a bad habit of <laughs> hitting the, the space bar, which automatically tries to disarm it, which is what you don't want to do. Um, you might see me do that at some point. Orange, I don't really care, but I'll grab this wand and I'll just leave the gems in there. Once again, burdened by food. 
You know that wand's safe to put in the bag because I tested it before. That's what that NM I wrote stands for no message. It means I engraved tested it and it yielded no result. It means it can't be cancellation, which is the one that we do not want to put into our bag. Right. Oh! Energy Vortex leapt out of the darkness. I'm going to... Yikes. Okay. Just throw our Vorpal Blade at it until it dies? Well, let's grab our daggers. Ah, that's probably going to burden us. Grab these, right? No. All right? Let's just throw our Vorpal Blade at it until it dies. Falls to our feet, so we can just throw it again. Destroyed, nice. So if that spit us out and we weren't destroyed, I was going to immediately drop all of my rings and wands. Because they are susceptible to its uh, shock attack. Which would have destroyed them. If you guys have been watching this series for a while, um, you'll notice that that happened to me before. It really sucked. Looks like we're good. I need to re-equip my Vorpal Blade. Set two up and again. Shopkeeper. This spawn? Oh, we only came down here blind before, so we didn't see it. Gems off of my auto pickup. Pipes. Pickup types. Gem or rock. Probably working my way towards the shop, which is more useful than anything else we'll find. But whatever, we'll check this side of the map first. Okay, so we're still having encumbrance problems. Let's deal with those before we leave the floor. I have some enchant scrolls. I think they're all weapon. I was going to wait to see if I got a better artifact, but maybe we'll just commit to our Vorpal Blade. It's fun, right? I think that's reason enough to stick with the Vorpal Blade. Maybe I'll ID some stuff and we'll do some more polypiling? Or I'll just ditch all these amulets that are never going to get used. Even without polypiling them. Lots of options. That's just an axe over there on the ground. I don't need that. One of you leads to the shop. Vlad was here. There's a trap door behind that. Hmm, is this a deli or a general store? Let's uninvisible ourselves. Um, actually, let's deal with this next episode. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all there.